my dad says the governor has the worst thing that has ever happened in the state. He feels all the people around him are incompetent and fools. I can't possibly tell him I'm dating someone who is not only close to the governor, but his right hand man. What do I do? I can't accept him. If not, my father will kill me. Do I even love him to the extent of marriage? Yes, I do. No, no, I don't. Yes. Yes, I do. Wait first. Yes. No. Why am I this confused? Oh. oh no. Jasper will come after me if I accept. What do I do? My dear, I had oh. I don't even know how she cope with a man who is almost like a woman. Eh? Even to the extent of a woman asking for his hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> hey. My dear, I still remember when he was born. He was not looking like a woman being. Even his parents never knew he would survive. I'm telling you. Hey, it's like you have this voice history in your head like this. Uh, hey, no. <laughs> See, the mother almost gave up on him. Mm -hmm. She never knew he would survive. Even people were advising her to throw away her child. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. But the mother, you know mothers now, and their stubbornness, she refused. And that's how that boy has become what he is today. But wait though, those asking her to throw away her child, they must be fools and saddest. Uh, eh? How could someone even think of such? I don't know. Hey, but we thank God know. though, that he survived. Mm -hmm. Look at him, he's now a big man in the government. Mm -hmm. eh? And look I at what him and the governor. Day. Both of you really thought your voices were down enough. But I'm sorry to inform you that I heard everything you said. And I'll make sure my son gets the two of you arrested whenever he ah, comes back. Please, ma'am. Sorry, ma we are sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't patronize me with your useless apologies. And you want to know why the princess is asking for my son's hand in marriage? The reason is simple. My son is a special child. Yes, we know. And as for what I had wanted to give to you, it has been taken over by your gossip. Ah, please, no, ma'am. Yes, please, yes, please, please, ma'am. Both of you should do this, ma'am. Ma please, ma'am. Ma please, ma'am. 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 Please, 
advise her about life. Wait, Janet. Is she no longer our friend? Yes, she is still our friend. But both of you are more friends than me. That's why I'm saying this. She will listen to you more than me. Okay, all right. I, I will talk to her. But, but please, I don't think you should call her that name anymore. I really don't. to have a good time with Cassie. Why will you always be the one to distract me? Which Cassie? Are you sure you are not running mad already? Look at the way you are pushing out your mouth like an idiot. What is this, Nanika? See, if anyone, I was having a good time with Cassie. I don't mind fighting you or anybody that tries putting us under. I have told you! For you to come from somewhere I don't even know to distract this case is an indication that you're up to something. Up to what? The obvious, of course. You're planning to take Cassie away from what? But it will never work for you. Yes. Can you listen to yourself? Good time. In your dream. Start looking for a solution to your problems very early before it becomes so big. You're the one that has a problem. Hmm. Yes. You're the one that has a problem. I know your plans for me will never work. Nika, you need help. I don't need any help. It's you, if anyone, who needs help. Because you need to learn how to start minding your business. I am done with you. How do I even explain these things to her? Hey. Hmm? What are you doing here? Well, I came to see you for something very important. Really? <laughs> are you surprised? Of course I'm more than surprised. So I wonder that you want to tell me. I came to see you about my friend. She's really in love with you. And I want you to do the needful. I don't understand. I mean my friend Nika. She really loves you. You mean you came all the way from your house just to tell me that your friend loves me? That's very confusing. You don't have to be confused. I just took it upon myself to come and tell you. Because she's becoming so obsessed about you. Well, I don't think that's what you came here to do. I'm so sorry, Fenyuwa. I, I, I didn't know what came over me. I should have controlled myself. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You are mad. You better go to her and explain to her. Nika! I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Just when I finally decided 
to take the bull by the horn and tell him how I feel. This happens. Why will Ifeyimwa do this to me? I remember. Come on. I remember. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. Can I explain to you? Look, I understand our tradition and I believe me, I can write a total essay on it. Everything. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine, you win. <laughs> um, uh, can I, can I call you back, please? Yes. Of course, I will. I will not forget. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Uh, <laughs> wow, baby. I'm not saying that this has been a while. So tell me, who is that? Um, the princess. What? I thought we talked about it. And you promised not to have anything to do with her. Yes, huh? we talked about it and we agreed that I have nothing to do with her and I have nothing to do with her. We're just talking about the festival. The festival of our people. Really? Yes. Just a phone call. Babe, why not come out plain and tell me you don't even want me anymore in your life? Babe. Can you say a thing like that? Come on, you know I love you so much. Come on. It's nothing. It was just we're just talking, really. Believe me. Do you love me? Of or you I love the princess? I love it's you. You're so annoying. How? You're so annoying. What is going on here? What has it come to this extent? You're really angry. Yes, it has. You're so wicked. Why do you choose to hurt me this way? What did I even do wrong to you? Do you even care how much it hurts? Baby, I love you. I've not hurt you. It was just an innocent phone call. She loved me. Oh, you're rather confused. Just try and sort out yourself. I can't take this nonsense anymore. What just happened? Oh, no. No. Like, seriously. Getting all worked up won't solve this. Please, you need to take things slow. Take it easy. And let's find this lasting solution to this. But seriously, girlfriend, you need to step up your game. Accept this guy's proposal if you don't want someone else to snatch him away from you. How? I still cannot believe I will ever find myself in this kind of mess. How did it even happen? You were already in a mess with heart. So you should be thinking of a way to get out of this mess. Why is the princess of Amanato so useless? Of all the men, it's my own Okichiko. Oh, I feel like to strangle her to death right now. That girl is so stupid. Do you know I hate her so much, she irritates me. Girl, this is not supposed to be confusing. And even you love this guy this much. I'll find the other guy. Please, just hold it right there. Please, don't even try to upset me the more. Okay? Why would you even bring up another guy in this kind of matters? You and I know you never loved this guy. I don't even know why you're fighting a woman who really loves this guy. And who told you I don't love him? Did you hear me say I do not love him? Did you? You heard me, sweetheart. Am I lying? Come on, accept this guy's proposal and everything will be solved already. I just... It's not your fault. No, 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 no. I don't blame you. Of course you can say whatever rubbish you have in your mouth. I don't think this should be confusing you in any way. You know what you want. Why don't you go for it? Oh, please, just hold it right there, all right? I just need to think. Let me think of something. So I need to... While you're thinking, hope you have alcohol of your own because I don't want you to use us trouble.
I don't even know what you're doing here. Please try and remember all we have been through together. I know if I can do a thing like that. Go and marry Cassie. I have left him for you. But you need to hear me out. I didn't do anything with him. I believe you. 100%. Please leave and never come back again. Nika, it has not gotten to that extent. You're the only friend and sister that I have. Please don't do this to us. You're a betrayer, if anyone. And I can never deal with you. Please leave and never come back. I understand. But it is important you listen to me. You know me. And you should know what I'm capable of doing. You know I can never do this to you, Nika. Please. What is it? Babe. Babe. Hmm, what is it? Baby, when are you coming to see my father? Um. So that right now, um. I have a lot on my table. You know how it can be at the government house, you know, just so much work to do. But I promise that as soon as I clear my desk, I'll, I'll make up time. You know, we'll go see him. Is that okay? You're busy in the office. It's work. Babe, you that I know will leave whatever you're doing in the office just to come see my father. Isn't that what you've always wanted? To see my father, right? So why are you giving me this, this excuse? Why? I ask you, Sam, why? Are you doing this? What are you talking about? I'm confused. Tell me. Is this about the princess? I know you'll make out time to go out with her. But you can't do the same for me. Why? Have I ever starved you? Of attention? I make out time for you. Huh? I just explained something to you about work and I was expecting that you'll be understanding. Come on, no, I don't take you for granted, baby. Relax. Prove it. Okay, Chuku, prove it. This is the time. Why are you making cheap excuses? Why? Okay. You see, this is not necessary. Let's not argue it. It's, it's not necessary, don't do it. So I'm being unreasonable. That's no, not... like what I'm saying is not meaningful, isn't it? Look, that's not what I said, okay? And this has nothing to do with the princess. It's get your head out of that place. Look, the princess might be royalty and all of that, but you are special, okay? Special indeed. Are you now seeing why I suggested we have to change the man? He is not worthy. Look at the kind of useless contract the man is awarded. The only thing we have with the governor is reminding him of the promises he made to our people during his campaign, of which we have done already. It doesn't concern us who he decided to award the contract. Oh, yes. Is this what you are going to say concerning what I explained to you now? Even when you're looking at it, I don't understand. Chief Isna, so what else do you want me to say? Hey. I have told you that I'm not the government. You, you suggested that we impeach the governor. Is he not the work he promised our people that he is doing already? I don't know what else you want from the governor. Well, yes, from the way you are sounding, I have this feeling you are beginning to feel I am doing this for myself. Oh, yes, I am not doing this for myself. 
I am doing this for the good of our people. Then you are overdoing things. What? Yes. You and I know that no governor has done half of what that man is doing for us in this kingdom. Why are you complaining so bitterly? Well, Onyeze, I'm sorry if this is actually how you feel about this. If you feel I, I have been complaining bitterly, that I, I have been overstepping my boundary. I'm so sorry about that, Onyeze. It won't happen again. I promise. Um, by the way, Chief Ismaso, how is work going on in your new project? Well, Onyeze, uh, the project is, uh, the work is going on slowly, not with the kind of speed I had wanted. And the reason is because of my commitment to community development. It has taken all my time that my own private project is now being uh, neglected. But I can assure you, Your Majesty, now that I have uh, taken the community to a, a significant level, I will have time now to start work in my facility again. And trust me, Your Majesty, it is going to be concluded soon. Very important. You have to focus on that facility because it is very important to this kingdom. <laughs> you know, when you speak like this, I feel joy in my spirit because it's, it, it shows me that you see far. And that's something you are saying is the reason I even started to put up that facility in the first place. And uh, our young men, we have, they will have the basic things they need. You know, when you provide the basic things for the young men, something like fast internet and the rest of them, yes. they can do wonders. Yeah, exactly. That facility is going to boast of all those things. <laughs> Chief is Naso, eh? man with vision. Eh, zonye, konye, konye. <laughs> he has even refused to come in to see my father. I like him. He's always happy whenever we call with the stupid girl. You are not serious. How on earth is that possible? I mean, the Okechiku I know would never hesitate to come see your father. You say? I even tried to remind him, but he keeps giving me excuses of having so much to do at the office. That means the guy is still interested in you. How? I know this sounds a bit weird, okay, but this guy still loves you. He really still care about you. But, so please, show this guy love, girl. Give him attention. Give him the love he deserves. And watch him fight for the love you guys share. That was a confusion. I am confused. I do not know who to choose among the two. Confused? You shouldn't be. You and I know Jasper doesn't love you. I do not know what you saw in that guy that is making you wanting to kill yourself over. Look, Okechuku okay, loves you. Accept that guy. Don't say I didn't want you. Oh, please, please just calm down, okay? I am at a critical moment of my life. And I do not want to make mistakes. I don't see anything critical in this. You and I know Jasper doesn't love you. Okay, Chuka is the one that really loves you and is ready to make sacrifices for you. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's him. Okay. Shh. Mm. Mm. Um. Hello, the love of my life. My main problem is that I wanted him to give the contract to someone else and he refused. I don't know the kind of sham he's using on everybody to the extent that even the king is not supporting him. Who do you want him to give the contract to? I wanted him to give the contract to somebody close to me. You know, uh, somebody I can benefit from. Somebody I trust. I mean, somebody I can control. You know, you know what that means? This is not sounding right at all. Yeah, but it is politics. Politics is not always sounding right. Politics sounds very awkward and that is why 
people say it's a, it's a dirty game. They see it as dirty. But we don't, we don't see it that way. It is a game. And the men like us who play politics, we play it with everything in us because that is the only thing we know. To make all the money we need in life. That's it. I feel you are still not seeing this hope of becoming a king. <laughs> you see, eh? with the kind of pressure I am piling on that man, I am telling you this thing because I trust you as, as a friend. With the hope that you will not go out there and uh, say what I have told you. Because if you try it, you will fall out with me. I may even kill you. Uh, you, you know it. But that's just the truth. The issue here is that with the kind of pressure I am piling on the king, very soon he's going to develop cardiac arrest and he will die. And once he dies, I will become the king. Look at this place. You see this empty land that I left here? That is where I will put the obi. The obi, where everything will be happening. There. Back and I don't need to leave when I am the king. Because he has no son, don't forget he has a daughter. And if any son of the soil marries his daughter, that person automatically becomes heir to the throne. Hey! You see that thing you're saying? It is an unfounded theory that is not tested anywhere. It cannot stand the test of time. Listen to me. You see that, that his daughter? Forget about her. I know what I am doing. And I'm going to handle her when the time comes. You are here there. I do. Mine is that I am solidly behind you. Yeah. As a friend. Yes. Yeah. If it has nothing to do with blood shedding, you know, when, um, when chicken-hearted men speak, <laughs> you will readily know that they are chicken-hearted. That's why they will just open their mouth and just be talking anyhow. I am a man. And the men who are men will always go for what they want. You know me, Chief Lydia Mack. I am a man who is a man by every definition of that word. And when I say that I'm going for anything, I am going for that thing. Are you calling me chicken-hearted? Well, of course. If you're not chicken-hearted, why will you sit before me and you are expressing this level of fear when it comes to shedding blood? Listen to me. I am the tabit. And if it requires shedding blood, we shed blood. I'm not scared. Okay? I am not in for that one. I cannot do such. Huh? Is that not the reason you are where you are? Look at yourself from head to toe. Had it been you have wisened up and play the politics the way it should be played, do you still think you will be in this level? Hey, will you? Look at, look, see, see that SUV there? Your governor. The same governor I disagree with, both in public and in secret. He was the one that sent that SUV to me to calm me down. You who has been licking his ass, what has he given you? Nothing. Nothing. You are insulting me and you know it. Then we are The other time you took to, you know, get all of this together was not in vain. I love what you're wearing. What? Boy, see how you compliment me. Mm? This is nice, baby. I love it. I love what you're wearing. Honestly, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
I love her. Mm -hmm. You look beautiful. I wish I could say the same for you. Just look at it. Well, what are you talking about? You don't like what I'm wearing? Oh, come on, babe. What are you saying? Huh? See, man, listen. Red looks good on me. Hmm? I look good. Look at my skin. Look. See how it pops on my skin. Listen, I know you might not agree with what I'm wearing, but trust me, given what I've heard of your dad, he would be happy that I came to see him garbed in an African attire. Uh -huh. Yeah. You, you feel it's all about my father? For real? Okay, what else do you want me to wear? Like what, jeans and t-shirt? To go and see Chief? Come on now. Huh? I'm in the right opera. I'll tell you. Yeah. One day, he will come back to this house and discover that I've burnt everything in your wardrobe. Calm down. I've set them on fire. Calm down. Eh? Just be issuing threats left, right and centre. On a special day like this, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Eh? Eh? Babe, come here now. Eh? You make me feel like taking one before we go where we're going. You're crazy. Yeah, see how you look. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Give me some love. Wait. Are you not the SSA to the governor? Yes, sir. I am. I never knew that you are Oziyama's father. Uh, nice to meet you again, sir. Oziyama, what? Is he the one you've been telling me about? Yes, yes, Dad. Um, it's like you two know each other. Oh, yes. Um, uh, he came by the office. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Then I don't have to stress myself with the introduction anymore since you both know each other before. Uh, seeing he is the one you've been telling me about, then we'll talk about this thing later. Dad, why are you doing this to me? I said. We are going to talk about this letter, please. Uh, uh, this man is uh, this. Baby. Yes, baby. <laughs> That man is my boss's biggest headache. I never knew that he is your father. I'm sorry. So, what happened between you and my father? Oh, no, not now, darling. I, I'll explain everything to you, but please, I have to leave now. Please. Please, just, please, just, please, sweetheart, please. Please, let me just. So, what do you intend to do about this? Search me, princess. Search me now. For I'm still trying very hard to find an explanation to all of this. I've always known that man. I have always known him. I've always known how shrewd he is. How much he hates the governor. How much he fights to bring the governor down. But what I do not know is that he's the father of Ozioma. A girl that I am planning to get married to. I am not a sadist. I never had a clue that you have been in a relationship. If I knew, I wouldn't have made the move. My princess, you won't blame me now for being here. After all that happened, coming here was the first thing on my mind. Because you are gifted in a special way. You have a calming effect on people. I was agitated. Oh, I was angry when all of that happened today. But I am here now with you and I am calm. It's you, you know? Well, I'm, I'm happy that my little effort has helped. Yes, it has. Princess, I hope you don't mind me asking if we can talk about your mission to my house a couple of days ago. That's fine. But I don't, I don't even know why you haven't said anything to me. You haven't said anything yet. So he hasn't compared me to say more. 
And that is because there's a question that I've been meaning to ask you, my princess. But I've had a hard time asking because I do not want to offend you. But with your permission, here and now, I'll ask. Whatever it is, go ahead and ask. I'm listening. Aren't you seeing someone, princess? With your status as the princess of Amanato, the princess of our land, you must have a man in your life. Don't you? Well, I will answer your question directly. I do not have a man in my life. And the reason is that I have to be very careful about the man I choose. Because whoever is going to be my husband, whoever I'm going to choose today, it's not just going to be my husband, but significantly, the future king. Amy, do you know my children rushed that food you gave me to take home and they refused to touch the one I prepared? Mm -hmm. And you don't know why. You know, the reason is that you add too much spices to your cooking. And your children, at least from the last interaction I had with them, don't like too much spices. Millicent, how will the food taste without the spices? It will still taste good. I mean, very good. Now listen to me. Food is medicine. If you must be told. And it does that function only when it's prepared with natural ingredients. Uh, Mom. Oh, our guy is back. <laughs> Mom. I would like to talk with you privately. Eh, uh, okay. You don't have to worry about me. I'm already leaving. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. He didn't say you should leave. Just wait for me outside. Okay. We are not done with our discussion. Remember? Okay. Now. What? So, how far? God, please forgive me. I am not supposed to be excited with someone else's misfortune. But somehow, this is looking good for me. God, please can you make this work for me? rejection of that ill-mannered girl, you still went ahead to see the father. For what exactly? Eh? And that criminal who parades himself as a political godfather had the guts to insult my only son. Mom, you need to understand that Chief is in our source negative brand of politics. It's not the issue here. I saw Zioma fell in love with her without the knowledge of who her father is. Right now, mother, things are a bit shaky between us. Things are about to hit the rocks. I'm crying out to you and you're talking about the man. Please, let, let's, let's focus on, on, on the issue at hand. Well, for your information, your relationship with that girl hit the rock the very day I told you to forget about her. Mother, please. Don't make me say things that you would not like. This is my life. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna have you impose your ideas on me. This is my life. No, 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 this is not mere ideas. These are binding decisions from your mother. Uh, and that girl must be a daft to have thought of getting married to my only son without my consent. Language, mother, language. Please, mom. That's my woman you're talking about. Oh, I, I won't have you talk about her like that. No, please, that's a woman that I'm actually in love with, mom. Respect my emotions. <laughs> you see, spirits never lie. I never knew she is even the daughter of that wicked devil. Okechuku, my son, 
Is that not enough to make you think like a normal human being? Mother, do you know that I can actually marry Usioma? Make her my wife and then we leave out of town, never to return. Really? And what kind of a woman will she be? Hmm? After you're married to her, will she not be registered in our man at all women assembly? Will I not be the one to go and register that will take her there? You are planning to be installed as an inze after you're married. Will you become an inze when you marry a woman that your mother has rejected? Please, okay, Chuku, don't let me say something that will make you feel so bad. Oh, by all means, mother, please, go ahead. That's, that's what you've been doing. Go ahead. Do it. Hmm. Go ahead, mother. Do it. You are trying to kill me before my time, and I'm asking you to go ahead. Do it. Really? So, you, you now have the guts to look at me right at my face and point fingers at me. Hey, okay, Chuku, you see your biggest problem is that you always feel you are now a big boy. Look, let me tell you, you are still the okay, Chuku, that my little boy, and that's what you continue to be! Huh? Oh, God. Hey, my darling. Mm. Hey, please. How, how are you doing now? Just for please, I, I am not in the mood for any of this. You know, I've been trying to recover. You have been like this since I came back. You are refusing me from touching you. Is there, is there any problem? There is no problem. It's nothing. Just that... I've been trying to recover. Recover? That means you didn't miss me. I guess it's because of that useless Okechuku, right? Oh, no. No, no, no. Not at all. Just why I, I need you to understand that I've been sick lately. I mean, I've been trying to recover. Uh, recover? Sick? As yes. You have already enjoyed yourself with him. But you promised me that you are not going to allow him to touch you. Yes. And I kept to my word. Then why are you refusing me from enjoying this beautiful creature? Why? Jasper, please, just leave me alone. I have a lot going on in my head. I need to think. Please. You need to think. Liar. You made me stay all through without having anything to do with you. Here you are telling me stories. He stayed without having anything to do with a woman. Good. That's your business and not mine. Alright? You should be thanking me for making you stay without, without spending a time on a woman. I made you stay safe. Enough of your nonsense. Please just leave me alone. Izuama. Me. Jasper. Ranting nonsense. I don't blame you. Jasper, if you're not going to allow me, stay in this house in peace. I will leave this entire building for you. All right? I will leave the whole house for you. What is your problem? Uzioma, why are you speaking to me in that manner? You, I know, will not delay to get hold of me once I'm back. Oh, I guess the opposite is the case. Keep guessing. If that's the new slogan, please do not stop me with any of your nonsense. Wow. Ozoma, this is the beginning of what you have in store for me. Hmm? Wait, 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 wait. Honestly, you're not helping me. How was I supposed to know? I thought what I did was what you wanted me to do. Mm. Knowing full well that women doesn't like to express their feelings directly. See? 
Your stupidity has cost me my friendship. The only friend that I have. And the fact that you refuse to explain what really happened, Cassie, I will not forgive you. Calm down. I'm sincerely sorry. How can we make things right? The same way you cost it is the same way you make it right. If you please, let's do this together. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, honestly. Is this what you do to every girl that comes around you? Then how come we have not seen you with any girl before? That you have not seen me with any girl before does not mean that I am bad. You never can tell reasons why things are just the way they are. Mm, which things? Do you even love my friend? I sincerely do not want to answer that question now. Forgive me first. How was I supposed to know that your friend loves me? When you came telling me those words, I felt you were, you were internally telling me about yourself. Is that why you grabbed me and started kissing me against my wish? The truth about me is that I can't even afford to hurt a woman. Honestly, I am sorry. Then show me how sorry you are by undoing what you've started. me because of the political disagreement you have with okay Chukwu and his boss. He's not going to be the governor forever and they would work together forever. Well I don't know where you are coming from. I don't know what they may have told you. I don't know why you were badging on me wrecking like this but let me tell you something. Anybody who has decided in whatever capacity to associate with that mistake we made as a governor should not come anywhere around me. Do you understand that? You know, he is just the SSA to the governor. And what is it that you even have with the governor you've refused to let go? Well, I don't want to discuss that. <laughs> when I want to discuss that, I will discuss it elaborately. But let me tell you something. You deciding to be a fiancé to that, to that hoodlum, who is working for that hoodlum, is a danger in my life already. And I am not going to allow that to happen. Do you understand what I am saying? That you are being unfair. This is not good. Do you even care about my feelings at all? I don't have any business with your feelings. You see that word they call feelings? I don't have any business with that. But I care so much about your well-being. And I am prepared to do everything possible to give you the good life. Because you are my word. And you know it. I doubt. I doubt if you are even my father. Prove to me that I am truly your word. Why are you hurting me? I should prove it to you by endangering my life. By getting killed? Do you even understand what you're asking me to do? Do you understand it? How on earth will my marriage with Okechuku endanger your life, father? You obviously, you're being selfish hey. here. Be very careful with the kind of things you say before me. Watch your words. Don't go back. Now, what are you saying? Seriously, daddy? This is not fair. You have never and don't even care about my personal life. All you care about is your politics, your life, you, you want to ruin my life, you want to control me. But let me tell you something, I am done taking orders from you. Now I want to live my life. Listen to yeah, me. Yeah, 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 no, 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 you're my friend. I Listen to me. Anymore. I am your father and I will remain your father anymore. Look at you. Of all the men in this state, you didn't see any of them to settle down with as your husband. You have decided for a hoodlum that is working for another hoodlum and you believe I will let you go? Nonsense. I am waiting. Go and come back. I am waiting for you. Nyala. My choice. I wanna 
Good morning, how are you this morning? Beautiful. Okay. I can see you are in high spirit this morning. Mm -hmm. God will surely make it happen for you. Of course. What about the dress I asked you to arrange for me? Have you done that? Yes, everything is arranged. Okay, fine. And um, I do not want a lot of people getting involved in my affair. Consider it done. Even my father. If he asks you any question, Find a way to play him. I don't even want him to also be involved in it. I'm sorry, my princess. I don't know how I'm going to lie to the king. Why are you acting so dumb? Listen, I never said you should lie to him. I used the word play, which means you should find a technical way to answer whatever question he might ask you. He is part of my resistance. I'm going to find a way to break it my way, though. So for now, do not tell him anything that has to do with me, right? My princess, is this really worth it? What do you mean? Facing all this because of a man who is looking somewhere else. Is it really worth it? He is looking somewhere else because no one has shifted his gaze. I am going to do that. So you do what I have asked you to do and leave the rest to me. Okay, my princess. All right. Mm -hmm. 